So we need to talk. Not really. I just... I don't know what's gonna happen here. Like, when I first started trying to do shit, I was all energetic and ready to go and happy and stuff was going down and it was because I was on O'Neal. Not because I was here. It was O'Neal. And I, uh... There was one lobby. There were two lobbies. One of them had three people in it. The other one had four people in it. So I'm like, alright, let me check out this three-person lobby. This one says three bars. The other one says two bars. I joined the person, the host that I have three bars with, Idle. Motherfuckers that are playing, zero bars. Great. Let's get the fuck out of Dodge. I joined the four-player lobby. Them bitches, they were like... Every single one of them had mics. Every single one of them was aggravated as hell. I left. I made my own lobby. I sat there until my ass got tired. Nobody joined me. So I came here. Because I'm a fucking idiot. But now thanks to that. Thanks to that just utter disappointment. Now I'm hella tired. Now I'm kind of tired. And I kind of don't want to be playing shit. But I'm playing shit anyway. Because <laughs> I need to redeem my Wolverine. Look at this shit, man. I'm playing Mr. Wolvie again. Woo! I'm a smashing scrub, I guess. Ooh, that was random. This homie is going random, so I need to remember that. Like, he's, he doesn't really have a game plan. That was supposed to be an air grab, but I suppose that works. I can totally do this online, right? Nope! Oh, that's right, he still has his air dash. I'm dumb. I'm getting hit by such dumb bullshit. I'm getting hit by online bullshit, let's be honest. I'm getting online, pure and simple. The connection's not fantastic, but it's perfectly playable. Like, there's no excuse to be hit getting hit by dumbassery. Uh, thank you for all of the up backing that I was doing and just stay there and get hit. That's perfectly fine. God damn, dude. Fucking hell. Oops. I'm so dumb. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Plain and simple. I'm fucking dumb to expect that to work against an online masher who's just going to mash the film. Stupid of me. I'm a fucking idiot. Let's be honest, and I'm perfectly fine with it. I get this dude. Now I need to relearn how to beat dumbasses like this. I mean, this is, you know, this is the gate, right? This is the gate you gotta get through if you wanna actually be effective at a game. You gotta be able to beat people like this that have no game plan, they have no particular decent like skill set they don't know what they're doing they're just mashing and that's perfectly fine it's perfectly valid i'm not trying to call this dude a scrub or nothing it beat me right but plain and simple these are the kind of people that if you want to ever get like decent at a fighting game these are the kind of people you want to play because once you learn how to beat these idiots you're on the road to success they're the gatekeepers it's the same reason why, like, whenever you're learning a new character, I always tell people to play against the grappler of their game. Play against a Tager or a Zangief or a T-Hawk. Just any kind of a grappler of the game. Fight them. And fucking just keep fighting them until you can destroy them. Because, simply put, even if the player in particular is not a gatekeeper, the character is a gatekeeper. By, just, by definition, a grappler is heavily punishing on just bad execution, making mistakes, all that kind of shit, grapplers will kill you for it. So the moment you stop just getting murdered by random grappler bullshit, you're ready to fucking go, you're ready to play. And it's the same thing like this. In this game, the grappler is Dr. Doom foot dive. Like this guy has no mix up with Magneto, he's just randomly air dash, triangle dashing around and praying it works. 
and he's just foot diving with Doom and praying it works. You gotta learn how to fight that. You gotta learn how to beat that. I knew how to beat that at one time. <laughs> Ages ago when I actually played the game, that would not have even, like, broken a sweat just annihilating the shit out of this guy. But I stopped playing. And this is what happens when you stop playing. You go back to square one and you get blown up by random bullshit. That's what we want to do. We want to play this? Learn to beat it again. Don't, don't advance guard him. Do it. At least just do it. See, if he had randomly mashed foot dive, it would have worked. But can you also see, like, you know how, what I'm talking about here? Like, watch this dude's magnetic blast. Watch how they almost never hit. There's a reason for that. There's a reason for that, because he doesn't understand the spacing. He doesn't understand why that's a godlike move. He just does it. Oh, you should have killed him for that. He should have died for that. Yeah, there's nothing. I mean, you gotta go in, dude. You're using Spencer, and you die. You don't have X Factor. Like, either just you, you've given up at this point. You've given up. Like, why are you even bothering to block? <laughs> I mean, real. Come on, man. Like, at least go in, give it one last hurrah. Even if the connection is shitty, because, like, you know, I don't know if it's just, you know, me spectating or if the connection was actually that bad, but even if it is that bad, at least just kill yourself faster. And I'm not trying to say, like, yo, get the match over with. I'm just saying, like, put yourself out of your misery. This dude isn't good enough to do it for you. So handle your business yourself. End the bullshit. And then run the fuck away. Because I probably, I probably will run the fuck away. If I... Because, I mean, you know, when you're... This is why I never really... Not to knock people who have ever told me, the connections are fine, you're just a bitch. This is why I never pay any attention to that kind of shit. Because almost anybody who has not experienced, like, high-level offline gameplay has no idea what it feels like to play online after doing that. But now, obviously... I am no longer a high-level offline player. I need to pick Doom. Oops, that was not what I wanted to happen. I was, I was just supposed to be in a Kuma call. Oh, wow, yeah, the connection got a lot worse, actually. Yeah, the connection got a lot worse. Jesus, I can't even do... <laughs> I can't even do frame traps right now. <laughs> See, just bash away. This is what he does. And I can't do anything because the connection did... His connection got a hell of a lot worse. Like, real talk. This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. He can't even do an overhead. I blocked it properly, but he's not even good enough to land the setups he's trying to do. Shout out to this guy. Oh, that actually worked. That Holy shit! He did something smart. Shout out to this motherfucker. He finally did something smart, but unfortunately that connection just got like 20 times worse, so I'm outie. That sucks. I mean, I don't know what happened in that match, but the connection was a hell of a lot better than whatever the fuck that was the first time around. So let's hope there's something else available. Otherwise, this is going to be a very short video. But I'm still going to post it because I don't care. It's something to post. But yeah, what are you gonna do? I mean, that really sucks that, like, that frame trap would have worked perfectly. I hit three buttons and one came out. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, fuck it. Just fuck. Whatever. Let's just do one more match. It's probably going to be terrible. Because you never want to take anything less than four bars in this game. But, I mean, anything less than five bars in this game. Is this dude just idle? I wonder if this guy's just idle. Like, he's just sitting there with player match ready to go. And then, but he's just, because you can click, uh, ready. But when, like, there's nobody actually in the, in the, I guess, I guess it's a lobby, kind of, sort of. When nobody's actually matched up with you, you can still click ready. So it's entirely possible this dude has just been sitting there as ready for, like, two hours. And is now completely not there. And I'm going to be playing a random team, and I'm going to get a perfect to show off my, let's be honest, amazing skills. Otherwise, this dude is just trying to troll me by running down the clock, because... They got nothing better to do. We, we're gonna be able to tell by the team. No, that's a real. That's a very real team. He be trolling me. That is no random. That thing is color coded. Maybe not. This connection is booty tier though. Oh, he actually is blocking. Oh, I landed right in it. Way to go, Nate. Way to know your spacing and shit. Oh, I, I thought I had time. What the fuck? Alright. But yeah, this connection's booty too. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what you would expect from a 4 bar. Whoops, I just got hit by mashing. I got hit by mashing. See, this what I'm talking about. Gatekeeping. These are the gatekeepers. The online world are the gatekeepers. They just hit buttons. You gotta learn how to beat that. Now, technically, if I land this combo, I win. But I'm not going to land it, because it's the terrible connection. Yeah, that was way too fucking late. Thankfully, he's perfectly willing to give me the game. That's what I'm talking about. Gatekeeping. Random mashers. Who the fuck does random super against Spencer? This guy. Remember when I did that with Akuma? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm a gatekeeper now. I'm a shitty masher along with the rest of them. But let's get the fuck out of here. Only gonna waste 60 seconds of my life sitting at the fucking character select screen. Fuck you. Let's just go see if there's any other lobby, and then if there's not. If all that's left is, you know, just more and more lag, always lag. And let's just bail. Oh, no, that's. That's. That's a very far away country. That's like a third of the way around the world. Alright, that's that. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, eventually, I can find some places where it is not just a mosh pit of underwater shenanigans. We'll find out.